All right, today we're unboxing a Steam Deck. Uh, it comes as such, a big long piece of tape here that we have to cut. Bunch of different language in there. Oh look, on the toilet, that's funny. On the subway, why not both? On a Ferris wheel, in El Patio, Okay, uh, attention, plug in, power on. Okay, so it wants you to plug it in before you power it on. And there it is. There's a, I'm not sure what this is meant to signify, but, uh, oh, you know what? These are gonna be on-screen settings and controls. Okay, so let's get in here. Um, there's your games are going places. There's this doodad. And pull it out. This piece comes off. Like it might have been put in backwards or something. There's a carrying handle that, that goes here. Anyway, I know it's very thoughtful of them to put that on there, but I'm very unlikely to actually use this <laughs> cardboard protector while I'm while I'm uh, using it in the world. in there. Huh. Okay, so this got shipped to Canada. Maybe it's um, potentially had to get open for customs purposes or something. Uh, anyway, there's a little handy dandy thing here so you can wear it on your bicep, I think. It's pretty cool. Uh, maybe that's so that you can strap it to your handlebars on your bike. all the way around. Seems like good quality. Ah, there we go. Look at that. Here, we'll turn it around. Seems like pretty good build quality. Lightweight. Like it's, it's not really heavy at all. Nice big speaker back there. You got your paddle controls. Triggers. There's a little dust on the screen there. I thought it was a scratch at first, but luckily it's not. All right, there it is. Uh, let's see what I got in here. unit. There we go. And let's uh, plug it in, I guess. Plug those here. Maybe it needs to charge for a while. All right, well, it doesn't appear to be turning on right out of the box. Let's, uh, put 
in like a hundred languages, so. And warning against musculoskeletal discomfort. Huh. Or photosensitive seizures. Okay, so it goes right on to French. Doesn't seem to say anything about what to do to turn it on right away, other than this uh, admonition to plug in before you power on, which we have tried, but it is not powering on. Okay, um, one more try. such luck. Maybe we'll let it charge a little while longer first. All right, so there it is. Uh, slight disappointment, but uh, there will be another video to follow once it gets charged up. Thanks for watching. All right, so silly me. Uh, it turns out that that outlet uh, was switched off uh, at the wall, so the problem was that I can't operate a light switch. So let's see how I do with this thing. Um, we've got our little logo there. We're gonna go here and we'll press the power button. Hmm? Nothing yet. We'll press it harder, longer, faster. There we go. Oh look, it turned into a Steam logo. And it is already charged up. Now it wants us to choose what English we speak. See what I did there? Um, we are not in a Pacific Standard Time, uh, although I used to be there. What does it know? Atlantic. We are now at an Atlantic Standard Time. All right, I'm not going to show you my password. All right, I have entered my password and navigated the universal interface machinery. Uh, might have problems from this angle. Oh, no, it, it got it. It's got pretty good Wi-Fi receiver because we are quite far from the from the router. Uh, it is installing something, maybe updating Steam. So I first signed up for this like. A year and a half ago? Pretty nice uh, to have it arrive. Of course, now it comes out and it has the 64 gigabyte version that I ordered. And it, apparently there are now other options, but I couldn't justify uh, you know, paying additional money for a portable when I have my desktop that I use right here. So um, this install looks like it'll take a while. Four minutes, 19 seconds remaining, so I'll pause. Oh, five minutes. <laughs> I don't think this progress bar works the way it's supposed to. All right, I'll be back in a second. Fun story, my daughter says, uh, when you said you were unboxing a Steam Deck, I had no idea what you were talking about. I didn't have any idea it was about games. Uh, so I thought that we were unboxing a power washer or uh, then once I saw the box, some sort of like iron or, uh, you know, <laughs> other plants. <laughs> so it's pretty amusing. Uh, <clears throat> we are down to the last 30 seconds. So, uh, hopefully that'll go fast. Uh, the first two minutes took about six minutes. So. I'm hoping that these last 20 seconds will go much more smoothly. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, 28, 26, 25. <laughs> All right, so that was eventful. Uh, it went from two to 28. I paused for a second and uh, and then 
uh, I was going to try the countdown again, but it got down to about 22 and then said sh steam shutting down. So that was kind of an odd experience. Let's uh, see what happens when we push the power button again. Hmm. Hmm. Curious, but not in a good way. Let's see. Has it run out of power? If so, that does not bode well. Yeah, it did just make a noise. <clears throat> Other than that, it's kind of sitting here. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. It would be nice if there was some kind of a progress bar or something here um, to let you know what's happening. Um, steam shutting down didn't seem like a very positive sign to me. Aha! Oh! We lucked out. Oh, now it wants to know what my Steam username is. We'll pause and enter that. Apparently I need to learn how to tape. Trying again. Oh, it's going to send me a text. All right, we have successfully de defeated the login boss. Yeah, there we go. Welcome to Steam Deck. Before you start playing, let's take a quick tour of the device. Press any button or tap on the screen. I'm going to choose a button. Okay, apparently the joysticks, yeah, the joysticks are buttons. Okay. It's the Steam button, practice to access your library, etc. Crack access button for friends, etc. It's power button up here. We already know that. There's a press and hold to access the power menu. Okay. Cancel. Press once to suspend or resume Steam Deck. Are you sure? Click, click. Okay. Maybe that doesn't work in this tutorial mode. Volume buttons. Press or hold. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Last of all, micro SD card slot. Oh, yay! Okay, so that's a good reason not to have purchased that. I managed to hit a button, uh, but that's good news because I do have a micro SD card that uh, is not being used on uh, my wife's phone upgrade, so I will uh, get a chance to use that. All right, I'm going to press a button or tap the screen, either one. Uh, okay, well, there we go. Um, I have the impression that this might be pretty good for things like Stellaris and not that great for things like MechWarrior. Um, we shall see about that. Uh, one thing that I did think about is I've got this Rocksmith game and I thought, wouldn't it be neat if you could actually have the device that you were playing on uh, strapped to your bass or your guitar? So I might also try that. Uh, Lots of different things to try here. Um, maybe I will start out with Stellaris. We'll install it. May ignore, may require touch screen or virtual keyboard or have difficult to read text. Yeah, well. Yeah, well, we'll give it a shot. Anyway, um, You can play this game remotely without installing. Well, maybe you can do that as well. 
Anyway, um, I think I'm going to leave it at that. I'll get into some install fast fun and uh, I'll let you know how it goes. Thanks for watching.